continuing the saga of Mr. S uh, Coach Stoops. From Thursday. Did you really break everything in your office after you saw the Oregon tape? You said no. in your press conference. The no, other day. not everything, but a few things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> When you when you realize and you see it up close it, like that, what happened, and they had a chance to review it, oh, yeah. I think is what really I processed. And it's just hard to tell your players, you know, we didn't do the right things to win mm -hmm. when you did. That you can't you can't explain. It. That was a great moment because you said Monday at the press conference, if folks folks didn't see it, I got a lot of credit for how I handled it after the game, but I shouldn't have. shouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing stuff, punching stuff. What was your little bit of operation? Little, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we got some questions here from folks in house. Our Academy Sports and Outdoors inbox. This is from Don Pachaza, no, formerly Don from Nebraska. The targeting rule has seemed to cut down on injuries. Is there any other rules you would like to see changed or tweaked? Um, you know, you're you're right. The targeting role is moving in a great direction for the game, for everybody. It's uh, it's much improved. Um, they're really doing a great job with it. So that that part of this is coming great. from a guy who's been victimized by it a couple of times this yes, year. Yes, but it's it's the right thing. Now they've got the review. They can take away the penalty. Everybody's much more aware of of going lower. And so it's saving a lot of kids. I mean, it really is. It's it's really um, we're moving in the right direction there. Um, I, I think some of the lower blocking, um, they've done a great job with the chop block. Some of the peel back blocks where you could cut, you know, it needs to continue to look at some of the knee, the possible knee injuries off of off of cut blocks. Mm -hmm. and, and they're always looking at those. Uh, I can't say specifically which ones, but. That's something I think we need to continue to look at as well. I was wrong. I thought you would say overtime. I've heard you well, say Well, uh, absolutely. Overtime, I believe, needs to be changed. Um, and I've said that before, I think, on this show. I've said I've brought it up in that you should have to earn your field goal, is my point. You would say give the, give the team the ball at the 45-yard line going in instead of the 25. So you need to pick up 10, 15 yards to earn your field goal. Mm -hmm. I think it would make short uh, overtime shorter, and it rewards good defense. And I say that I was on the wrong side of it in, uh, uh, back in 1998 with Coach Spurrier at Florida. We were at Tennessee with T. Martin when they, the right. year they won the national championship. We uh, backed them up about four or five yards to start overtime, and they have to kick, it said it from the 25-yard line, I think it was the 28 or 29-yard line, they made a long field goal. Florida, we went down to the 15 or 10 yard line and missed our field goal. Mm -hmm. Point being, if we had started at the 45 you know, to move the ball in and got rewarded for backing them up, it wouldn't have been about, you know, or they would have had to earn their field goal. Right. So I, anyway, I've talked about it for a long time, and I don't, maybe it's something that maybe someone else will catch on to that it's worth looking at. I think it's great. You, gotta, you shouldn't have to get a couple of first downs. Well, I think it, it would eliminate also the, the three and four, three, two, three and four overtimes where everyone's just kicking field goals. <laughs> right, 70 to 69 games that exactly. we end up with sometimes. One other guy before we go to break, a senior I wanted to point out, Michael Honeycutt. We've talked about him a lot, but an amazing career. It looks like, you know, he's probably going to end up the number four all-time scorer in college football history when it's all said and done. Yeah, he's been fabulous and uh, you know it, it's just unfortunately uh, you know unfortunately he's met, missed a couple this year but or you know and in particular in a critical situation in K-State but Michael's been fabulous uh, we love him a leader on our team our players all you know have great respect for him he's been a great player for us um, you know when you score that many points he's been a very valuable valuable player for us and and uh He's had a great career. Hard to argue, greatest kicker in OU history. I mean, when you look at the points, and there's been some pretty good ones. Mr. Von Schaumann, no the top of that list. We'll take a timeout. Fifth quarter next with Bob Stoops here from Rudy's.